The Instagram algorithm has recently changed and a lot of you have been seeing a decrease in views or maybe a decrease in the amount of followers that you're getting. And for some of you, you even haven't been able to gain followers at all. But if you implement the advice that I share with you in this video, which is going to include what kind of content you should be creating, which by the way, you shouldn't always be creating new content, what you're creating content about and how long your content is, because all of these things have recently changed, you will see massive results. In fact, I just helped this creator gain 30,000 followers in just a few weeks and this creator over 100,000 and the same thing can happen to you if you simply implement the tips that I'm about to share with you in this video. First and foremost, you should not always be creating new content. This is a huge mistake that so many people get wrong. In fact, I think 80% of your content right now on Instagram, if you are an established creator, shouldn't be new. You heard that right, it shouldn't be new. If you've had posts do really well, anything over 10,000 views, well then guess what? You shouldn't always be creating new content. In fact, you should be reposting some of that content and you should be recreating those posts. It shouldn't be a brand new post idea because you need to understand something. The only hesitation that you should have for this is say, oh, well, what if my followers see it and they get bored or they get mad? They're not going to. You know how many posts people see on Instagram every single day? Hundreds, thousands. If you are that self-centered that you think that people are going to remember, you, out of one of the 4,000 posts that they've seen, you got another thing coming. For the majority of people, they either probably didn't even see it or they don't remember it. So I strongly suggest you recreate the topics that have been doing really well or repost those videos. This is going to allow you to get more views faster. It's going to allow you to get more followers faster and ultimately it's going to take the stress off of you as a creator because I know so many of you are stressed out saying Rob I'm trying to create content for Instagram, YouTube, Shorts, Facebook, all of these different platforms. How am I able to do it? You're able to do it by repurposing things, by recreating things. Look at the most successful creators. They do it at a large scale. Alex Hormozzi, Gary Vee, all these people are constantly repurposing content, recreating content and they're not doing it because they have some big team. They're doing it because they know it's going to work again and it decreases the amount of time that they actually have to spend creating creating content and you don't need a full-time team to be able to do that. You simply just need to recreate posts that have already done well, give a different take on it, or just completely repost those videos. Now there are several other changes that you need to make sure that you're implementing to your content about what you're actually creating content about, how long your posts are, and even what features you're using, which we're about to dive into. But before we do that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok, I upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I created a free Instagram growth course. You could get it the link in the pin comment below. It's going to share with you things like the best time to post and what hashtags you should be using, which haven't changed recently, which is why I won't be updating them in this video. But if you don't know what they are, go to the link in the pin comment below and get into my free course to be able to find out. So I get asked all the time, Rob, how often should I actually be posting on Instagram? I would post at a maximum a maximum four times a day. You do not wanna be posting more than four times a day on Instagram right now. That does not account for stories. That accounts to reels that you are putting out. And if you're still posting photos, you're posting carousels, you're an idiot. You need to be posting reels. Reels are really the only thing that are getting pushed on Instagram right now, unless you do a carousel with something with a really catchy thing, like Mr. Beast could sell his YouTube channel for a billion dollars, which is clickbait and a lie, but then the next slide is actually the clip and the reel of that. Stuff like that does work. But unless you're doing something like that, you need to only be be uploading reels. I'm going to share with you in just a little bit what you should be creating reels about depending on your niche and how long your actual piece of content should be. But for now, you need to be focused on creating reels. You also need to be focused on uploading consistently. This matters. If you want to get delayed explosions on Instagram, you need to be uploading consistently. They're only giving delayed explosions to creators that are uploading consistently. So if you're not uploading consistently, you're not going to get delayed explosions. If you don't know what a delayed explosion is, posts on Instagram that are a month old, two months old, two weeks old, three weeks old, they can get sucked back into the algorithm, go viral, and you can literally get tens of thousands of followers, even 100,000 followers I've seen on Instagram, literally overnight by having this happen. On top of that, once one of those things happens for that post, Instagram then recommends all of your other content, and ultimately, you end up gaining a ton of views, you gain a ton of followers, and this is happening more and more to creators that are small as long as they stay consistent. Now, just staying consistent isn't enough. You also need to make sure that you're implementing the two other things that I'm about to share with you because by far they're the most important updates when it comes to this Instagram algorithm. But before we dive into those, I want to make sure you understand something. It is easier to grow on Instagram right now than it ever has been before. So long as you're implementing the right strategies, you're implementing the things that I share with you previously in this video and the next two things I'm about to share with you, it is easy to grow right now. 
Instagram is easier to grow right now than it ever has been before and you need to make sure that you're taking advantage of that because if you miss out on this, you will be missing out on the golden era of growing on Instagram and you will be left in the dust because in the future, it's gonna be way harder to grow on Instagram. Way more brands are going to come on here. They're going to wanna pay you a lot more money because they see the amount of organic reach that you have based on how many followers you have because Instagram has essentially reset engagement. So you need to make sure that you are taking advantage of this. And that starts with you paying attention to the update that Instagram is now deprioritizing posts that have a trending sound on it if you're not participating in that trend. What do I mean by that? If you see a trending sound and a bunch of people are doing the same exact post format over and over and over again on it, that is a trending sound and that is something you should be hopping on. But if you're just throwing a trending sound on your video and not participating in the trend, it is not going to be successful. In fact, Instagram has begun to deprioritize those videos, so I strongly suggest that you do not do that. It is going to hurt you, it's going to allow you to not get monetized and ultimately it is going to deprioritize you in the Instagram algorithm. So what you need to make sure that you're doing, if you do not have a sound that is adding value to the video by being part of a trend, don't even bother adding a sound over it. Just leave it as it is. And for those of you that are wondering, Rob, how can I actually find out whether or not a sound is trending or if there's a trend going on under it? What you need to do, literally just click on the sound, look at all the videos created under it. If they all look exactly the same, then clearly that sound is a trend and it's not something you should put in your content unless you are actually hopping on that trend. Or if you wanna get no views on Instagram, go ahead and post that thing. The next thing that you need to make sure that you're taking into consideration when you're creating your content, when you're editing your content on Instagram, the lighting, it really matters. You need more light in your videos. Creators that put more light in their videos get more views, get more followers on average. So I strongly suggest whenever you're creating an Instagram reel, make sure the lighting is good. If the lighting is not good, you are going to get less views and less followers than you should have. Okay, so now we can get into the real meat and potatoes, the things that are really working right now on Instagram when it comes to the actual content you're creating. One of the biggest posts right now that is working on Instagram is people that are taking tweets and putting them over a reel and making it really short. It's tricking the algorithm into thinking that you're getting 100% watch time and it allows you to get more views than you have followers, ultimately increasing your amount of organic reach and increasing the amount of followers that you get. It helps if it's provocative, it helps if it's really good, and it helps if there's a video going on in the background. These are basically meme reels and these are the new type of post that is going to take over on Instagram. If you remember Instagram three years ago, five years ago, meme accounts were the biggest accounts. They got the most views because people shared them. The same exact thing is happening right now with Reels. It's basically the memification of Reels and you need to make sure that you're hopping on this and it is a great way for you to be able to take advantage of memes that are already out there, memes that you can create, or just things that are incredibly popular. For example, if you take a really popular meme and then make it specific to your industry, specific to your niche, it's going to allow you to get more views. Views. Let me give you a great example. I saw a post recently that was Pete Davidson and it said something along the lines of, if Pete Davidson can get Kim Kardashian, you can afford a house or you could get your dream house. That is a great way for you to actually implement something that is going on in pop culture or was going on in pop culture and still gets a lot of views and still gets a lot of clicks into today's age and into your actual niche because it is going to allow you to get views forever. Things like Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian, those are gonna get views today. They got views a year ago they will still get views years in the future. Another thing like that, Allen Iverson doing the practice thing. How can you incorporate that into your content? There are several other examples of this that you need to make sure that you are looking at these memes saying, how can I put this in fashion? How can I do this for fitness? And you need to make sure that you're posting about those things because it's going to allow you to one, create three to four pieces of content a day incredibly easily. Two, create content that people are sharing, that people want to watch. Three, it helps you get 100% watch time incredibly easy on Instagram, which really matters right now. If you wanna get more views and you wanna get more followers, which brings me to the last point of this video, is that you need to be focused on short form content. So many of you are going for 60 second, 50 second, 40 second reels. People's attention spans aren't that long. Go for the shorter ones. It allows you to get 100% watch time way easier and ultimately allows you to get more views on Instagram. That being said, if you wanna get guaranteed followers on Instagram, like all the examples that I share with you in this video, then keep watching because I'm about to share with you something really special. All of that being said, if you want guaranteed growth on Instagram in 2022 or just in the next 30 days, you need to get into my mentorship program where I guarantee that I can help you grow on Instagram. In fact, I'm gonna tell you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you grow in the next 30 days. If you don't grow, I'm gonna give you your money back, zero questions asked. Now there are limited spots for this because there are so many people that wanna get into it, but I can only work with so many creators. So if you're interested, go to the link in the description. This is the same exact course that Tuvok12 took to gain over 100,000 followers on Instagram. Avmoves took to gain over a million followers 
followers on Instagram, the Joel Magician took to gain over 500,000 followers on Instagram, and so many other creators. I'm telling you guys, the organic reach on Instagram is not going to last forever. If you want to take advantage of this, you want brands to pay you for your posts. You want to know what you should be posting, what hashtags to use, what time you should be posting, and again, guaranteed growth on Instagram. Nobody has ever offered this before. Nobody's ever going to be able to offer this, but I can offer this to you right now if you get into this very limited program. So please, if you're interested, sign up at the link in the description. If not, I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos we're going to put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.